Hi, and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can shorten a zipper. For example, I'm gonna be taking this nine inch zipper and shortening it to a seven inch. You may need to do this if you're making a customized project that needs a zipper that's not carried in the store. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is grab my straight ruler because I'm gonna measure my zipper. And you're just measuring the zipper teeth, which run right down the middle here. We don't have to worry about the zipper tape, which is the fabric that extends past the top and the bottom, just starting here and ending here at the top of the tab. So I have my zipper all the way zipped up with my zipper tab at the top. And this is a nine inch. I'm gonna grab my fabric marker and whatever you decide to shorten it, that's what you're gonna mark. So I'm gonna do seven inches. Once you have this marked, you're then going to do a whip stitch at this point, and we're gonna move a little closer so I can show you what that looks like. The right side of my zipper is facing up, and I have my threaded needle here with the knot on one end, and I'm gonna come up from underneath, so my knot is hidden on the back of the zipper, and I'm coming up right alongside one side of the teeth. And normally you're gonna to wanna to use a matching thread color, but I'm just doing bright pink so it'd be easier for you to see. So once I've come up, I'm then gonna go directly onto the other side of the teeth, put my needle through, and then come right up, right where I came up originally. Pull it through, and that's one whip stitch. So same thing, come around, come to the right side of my teeth, or the top side. The point of the needle should come up right near where I first started stitching. And you're gonna want them to be real close together. So you can just move that over like that. And that's two. So you're gonna wanna do this about 10 times so we can make sure that it's secured. And then once you've done about 10 stitches just in this manner, what you're gonna wanna do is turn the zipper tape over onto the back side and tie a knot. So then the knot will be hidden again on the wrong side of the zipper tape. After you finish doing your stitches, you're going to wanna to get a ruler or your sewing gauge, line it up, and a half inch past your stitches, you're gonna make another mark. So this is where we're going to cut with our scissors. So that means the zipper teeth are going to extend a half inch past where we stitched. And zipper teeth is made out of plastic, so it should be okay for you just to use your regular scissors to cut through it, just like that. And if you're using um, a really old zipper that has metal teeth, definitely use a heavy duty pair of scissors to do it. But now that it's trimmed, our zipper is shortened and that's all there is to it.